What's up guys? Welcome back to the ranch. All right ranchers, today's gonna be a short video about soil. If you've seen some of my other videos, I'm propagating particularly dogwoods or willows in those videos and I use a soil. This is a video of what soil I'm using in those propagations, just to give you an idea of what that is. If you're thinking about doing propagations, maybe not dogwoods or willows, this is what I use, this is what's working for me. Maybe you wanna give this a try. All right, let's get started. All right guys, so what I'm using is a seed starting soil and some perlite, and I also have this big bag of garden soil, which is a lot of peat. This holds a lot of moisture. Uh, I've used this to propagate other stuff and uh, tried using this straight and it didn't work out because it's just too wet and too moist and it actually caused a lot of rot on my, on my cuttings and led to failure. So I'm trying to show you something else that's gonna keep the soil more aerated, more, more dry essentially because the roots that you're trying to grow need air and need moisture, but not like a bog of sogginess that promotes bacteria uh, and, and rot to develop on your cuttings before they make roots. So what I'm doing with the, the seed starting soil and the perlite, which is like the name indicates, super light. Uh, I'll just open this up. Um, is to try to create a lighter, airier, less dense soil. And we're gonna do that with just a bucket and these three soils I just showed you. So there's my bucket. I thought I would use the table and that would work, but the table did not work. All right, so I got my soils all set up. The starter soil, the perlite, which is really almost like, it's perlite, but to me it feels like to describe it to you, um, styrofoam pieces. And that's gonna make pockets for air uh, and let the soil stay drier and allow for good root development as opposed to uh, bacteria and anaerobes that lead to rot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a one to one to one mixture. So this is the pot I'm gonna use it's a clear starter pot. I like clear pots when I propagate and create plants so I could see the roots, their development in these things. And we're gonna make a one to one to one ratio of this. And how does that mean? One part, one part, one part. So I'm gonna end up using one scoop of this. One scoop of this. Then I'm gonna get this out of the way just so it doesn't make a mess. Probably will anyway. I'm gonna use one scoop of the perlite. Well, actually more like a half a scoop of perlite. See that, half a scoop? And then I'm gonna use one scoop of this. Seed starting soil, which is already very light, and as you can see, has some perlite in it already. So you can see that already has some of the perlite in there. And I'm gonna pour that in there. And now I'm gonna take my little garden and I'm going to mix this up and see where that takes us. See where that takes us. So, it really wasn't a true one-to-one-to-one. -to -one -to -one. It was like one-to-one -to, -one to a half. But now I have a lot of that perlite in there. Uh, some of that dense peat moss soil that was in the garden bag and some of the organic starting soil, which is just super light and airy already with had that had perlite in it. So now I got that. And because I basically used a scoop out of each one, I should get two containers for this, two propagations out of that mixture. And that's what I'm looking to do right now. So then, there you go. And that would be the dirt I'm gonna use for propagation. Nice, airy, light, fluffy. All right, ranchers, thanks for watching this kind of offshoot video about dirt. Not exactly my hunting channel type of uh, production here, but um, if we're propagating willows 
and dogwoods and stuff for deer, it all comes back to how did I do that in this dirt? And maybe you want to see a little bit specifically how the dirt was made. And if you just stumbled on my channel and you're here propagating plants and you were like, oh, I want to propagate plants. What kind of dirt should I use? Here you go. And what I'll do is I'll take a couple of pictures of each one of these, these bags, just so if you're looking to make this mixture, like I got here, look how nice that's going to look. All right. This way you can do that yourself. All right. Thanks for watching.